all right students let's go ahead and now revise the next chapter the next chapter is e way bill let's take a quick linking we started learning gst with goods or service goods or service has to be supplied supply can be either interstate or intrastate intrastate supply what will happen I GST will be levied, intrastate, CGST will be levied. Once GST is levied, GST has to be collected and paid by a taxable person. How will he collect? How will he pay? He will calculate GST is equal to value of supply into rate of tax. Once you know the value, you will go ahead and prepare the tax invoice, credit note, debit note, and delivery. Chalan. Once you go ahead and prepare the tax invoice, credit note, debit note, and delivery, Chalan. now you will go ahead and maintain your accounts and records and also you will go ahead and send the goods to the other person when you are sending the goods to the other person on the way department officers will be standing and they will ask for a document plus an e-way bill so we are now going to learn the chapter of e-way bill a bill which you need on the way which you generate electronically so it's called e-way bill everyone over here Bit, beta, first of all thing you have to always remember is e-way bill is for movement. E-way bill is for movement. E-way bill is for what everyone? Movement. Chalo. Now everyone over here. Who will go ahead and generate e-way bill? Who will go ahead and generate the e-way bill? So for an example over here, Motu wants to send the goods to Patlo. Sir, who will generate the e-way bill? Remember, if it is a supply ka case, supplier will generate or recipient will generate. Whoever is causing the movement. If it is not a supply ka case, consigner or consignee is there. Whoever is causing the movement, supplier, recipient, consigner or consignee, whoever causes the movement will go ahead and generate the e-way bill. But sir, supposingly, supply is unregistered, supplier is unregistered and the recipient is a registered person. Then remember one thing, even if supplier is causing the movement, but if supply is unregistered, recipient is registered, it will be deemed that the movement is caused by whom? by the registered recipient and he will go ahead and generate the e-way bill. If supply is unregistered, recipient is registered, movement will be deemed to be caused by the recipient. Sir, if both the parties are unregistered, then the transporter who is there, that the transporter who is there, when the value is more than 50,000, transporter goes ahead and generates the e-way bill. Over here is, where will you go and generate the e-way bill? You will go to GST dot, nahi, e-way bill, GST dot, GOV dot, in. Sir, how will I go ahead and generate? You have to upload the details in part A of GST WB01 and part B. Part A is basically your transaction card detail. Part B is your transportation card detail. And once you go ahead and fill part A and part B, remember one thing everyone, once you fill part A and part B, then one unique eBay bill number shall be provided to you. Then it says over here, why do you have to generate an eBay bill? Why do I have to generate? Whenever you are causing movement, Whenever you are causing movement of goods of consignment value more than 50,000. Remember one thing. Whenever you are causing the movement of goods of consignment value more than 50,000. And sir, here it can be with respect to supply also. It can be for any other reason other than supply also. Are we clear everyone? Then it says over here, sir, even if you are not causing the movement, but if you, people listen to me very carefully. If you are buying from a supplier who is, unregistered and you are registered person it is always deep that you are causing the moment and you should generate the eBay bill do you guys get my point everyone so what is it going over here and telling it goes over here and says sir whenever you are causing the moment of consignment value more than 50,000 with respect to supply or if it is for any other other reason other than supply also you will be required to generate eBay bill but sir there are two cases when you have to compulsorily generate eBay bill mandatorily one is mandatory general reason when your consignment value is more than 50,000. Sir, consignment means every invoice, every bill of supply, every delivery chalan is always a separate consignment. Can I go ahead everyone? And when the consignment value is more than 50,000, you have to generate e-way bill. Two cases when mandatorily e-way bill, irrespective of the value, it is when in interstate movement is done to a job worker or interstate movement of handicraft goods by a person who is exempted from compulsory registration under section number 24.1 or section number 24.2. If you are a person who are supplying handicraft goods one state to another, then you are exempted from compulsory registration under section number 24.1. Sir, if you are a casual taxable person, who are supplying handicraft goods, you were exempted under section number 24.2. Those people who are exempted from compulsory registration but doing interstate movement has to compulsory generate a way bill. Sir, how do I go ahead and see the consignment value? Consignment value means always the value of your invoice, bill of supply, delivery, chalan, including the 
GST amount which is there. If the amount is more than 50,000, you have to generate e way bill. Remember one thing, if you are going ahead and generating an invoice, come bill of supply in which exempt supply ka value is there. Please remove exempt supply ka value and whatever is the value with respect to tax supply plus the GST will form your total value of total consignment value. Everyone over here, sir, when should I go ahead? When should I go ahead and generate e way bill? Always remember whenever the transportation is by road, the moment should, the before the moment, before the moment, prior to the moment, you should generate e bill. If the transportation is by rail, air or ship, e bill may be generated after commencement of moment also. But remember one thing, railway will not give the delivery of the goods unless you show the e bill at the time of delivery. Sir, e bill ka validity, always remember one thing, if it's a normal cargo, if it's a normal cargo, it's not an overdimensional cargo or it is multimodal transportation where ship is not involved. Then it is always 200 kilometers one day. But if it is overdimensional cargo or multimodal transportation where ship is involved, then always you will get 20 kilometers ke liye one day ka validity. Remember one thing, e -way bill ka validity, how do you see? Today if you generate e -way bill, today early morning you generate it, the validity will start. But one day has to be always counted from today midnight to tomorrow midnight. I hope everyone is clear with this point. So sir, who has to go ahead and generate e -way bill? Supplier, recipient, consigner, consignee. Whoever is causing the movement. Remember one thing, whoever is causing the movement has to generate. But if supplier is unregistered, recipient will be deemed to have been causing the movement and recipient will generate the e -way bill if he is a registered person. Sir, where will you generate? e -way bill gst.gov.in. How will you generate? Part A and Part B. You have to go ahead and fill. Why should I generate? Because you are causing movement of consignment value more than 50,000 rupees. Baba or you are selling, sending goods interstate to a job work or you are doing interstate movement. Basically, you are a casual taxable person or you are an interstate supplier of handicraft goods. Basically, was exempted from registration under section number 24, 1 and 2. Then, Baba, you will be required to generate e bill compulsorily irrespective of the value, irrespective of the consignment value basically. And then the next one over here is how to calculate the consignment value. And then we learn UV bill should be generated always prior to moment. Air, rail, ship ka case mate can be generated before or after. Validity, overdimensional cargo, multimodal transportation, ship is involved. Ship is involved. You have to 20 kilometers one day. But other cases may, always it is what everyone, 200 kilometers ke liye, one day ka validity. Everyone over here now. The next point over here is, sir, okay, I want to tell you one thing which I remembered just now. Sir, what if I don't generate any way bill? What if I don't generate any way bill? Remember one thing, on you, on you there will be a penalty. Under section number, if you don't generate e way bill, if you don't generate e way bill on you, there will be a penalty of section number 122, 1 May, which is 10,000 rupees or the tax which you evade, whichever is higher. Sir, under CGST, this penalty is there. Under SGST Act also, 10,000 or the tax which you evade, whichever is higher. Tax evaded means CGST tax evaded, SGST tax evaded. Sir, or this is for the person. What about the goods and conveyance? They are telling section number 120, basically your goods will be, if you don't generate any way bill and you are caught, your goods will be, you will be detained, detention and seizure of goods will happen and seizure of goods and conveyance will happen. And if you want to release the goods and conveyance, you will have to go ahead and pay the penalty under section number 129.1. By chance, they go ahead and ask you non-issuance of EVA bill. What is the problem? Non-issuance of EVA bill on the person, basically the penalty comes under section number 122.1, which is 10,000 or tax evaded, whichever is higher. In exam, you have to see if they're asking you from CGST point of view. If they're asking you from IGST point of view, then say 20,000 or the total IGST amount, whichever is higher. Are we clear everyone? Sir, detention and seizure, detention and seizure of goods all conveyance will also happen. To release the goods and conveyance, I have to pay the penalty under section number 129.1. Can we go ahead, everyone? Everyone over here. Now, whenever you go ahead and start the movement, rule number 138A comes. Rule number 138A says documents and require documents and devices to be carried by whom? Person in charge. They say you have you should carry invoice, bill of supply plus delivery chalan plus the eBay bill. And in case of import, you should carry the bill of entry. Remember one thing: eBay bill is not required to be carried by the person in charge in case of rail, air, ship, etc. Rail, air, or vessel. Sir, if I am a person doing e-invoicing, then is physical invoice required, or I can just carry the QR code, the QR code having embedded invoice reference number that can be carried along. 
Then it says over here, now the person in charge will start the movement. Baba, on the way, the officer will stop you. Rule number 138B says, verification of document and conveyance. Officer will tell, show me the invoice, show me the EV bill. And also, he will go ahead and check the conveyance. Are we clear? If everything is fine, he will let you go. Baba, if there is any problem, then penalty will be imposed on you. Can I go ahead, everyone? Authorized proper officer will go ahead and do the checking. Authorized proper officer is the inspector who is being authorized by the commissioner. He will check the document, EB bill and the conveyance and on specific intelligence information, even if on the way inspector is not available, any other person can do the physical verification. He can do the verification, but he has to take commissioner ka permission. Baba, after the verification is done, now the officer will go online and he will upload the report. So, that is called inspection and verification of goods. After the inspection of goods in transit, the proper officer will go online and he will upload a summary report within 24 hours in GST EWB 03 ka part A. That sir, I had intercepted this vehicle and this is the summary report. And within... Three days in GST EWB 03 ka part B, he will go ahead and upload what everyone? Final report. Three days may if he done, doesn't do it, commissioner can give him further time limit of three days. Remember one thing, once checking is done, summary report has been uploaded, they will not go ahead and do any other checking again. But if they get any specific intelligent information and have a doubt on you, then Baba checking can be done again also sir if you are being detained for more than 30 minutes you can go online and you can complain basically grievance report can be uploaded by the transporter in gst wb04 now government is going ahead and telling documents and devices to be carried commissioner can go ahead and notify those transporter who has to go ahead and install rfid devices in their vehicle so basically what will happen in the RFID, the invoice related detail will be there and Baba, EV bill you would have gone ahead and generated, EV bill ka detail are there in government ka server. So Baba, what will happen is when you are going, your RFID device will send the invoice related detail over here, IRN number will be put in the RFID device and basically the RFID reader will go ahead and get in touch with the EV bill ka server and matching will happen. If everything matches, the door will open but as of now, it's a dream not happening. Can I go ahead everyone? So as of now, there is no RFID devices for for going ahead and putting the invoice card detail and then matching will happen. This kind of things doesn't happen now. Now what they are going ahead and doing everyone? This officer is only going ahead and verifying. Can we go ahead everyone? However, for checking your movement of vehicle, toll booths ka basically toll related payment detail which you go ahead and do through your RFID device that is being used by the department. That's a separate story. Can I go ahead everyone whether you have actually caused the movement or not? The next one over here is, sir, when you are going on the way, supposingly your vehicle fell sick, any issues if it is there, breakdown is there, which is repairable, you can ask for extension. Extension can be taken once the midnight, 12, the will is going to expire. Before 8 hours or after 8 hours, you can go ahead and ask for extension. Sir, supposing there is a problem which happened and the truck has to be changed. Remember one thing, if there is a transshipment or breakdown which is resulting in truck change, if it is your own conveyance, just update part B. If it is the same transporter who is Next vehicle has come, then he will just update part B and take the goods and go. But if the vehicle changes and the transporter also changes, first this transporter will assign the EV bill to another transporter. Another transporter will update the part B and take the goods and go. So if different transporter, then you will have to, EV bill has to be assigned to another transporter. Now the other transporter will update the part B, that is motor vehicle car details and take the goods and go. Remember one thing, EV bill is not required in certain scenario. What are the scenarios everyone where goods transported are LPG, kerosene under public distribution system, postal packages, pearl, precious stone, metal, jewelry, goldsmith, smithsware or silver smithsware or any other article except imitation jewelry. This is the amendment this time. Government is going ahead and telling if you are transporting gold, jewelry, diamonds, pearls, etc. You are not required EV bill but if your jewelry is imitation jewelry. Baba EV bill will be required. Remember, imitation, imitation, imitation jewelry, EV bill will be required. Can I go ahead, everyone? This can be a question in the exam. Sir, currency ke liye EV bill is not required. Use personal and household effect or coral ke liye EV bill is not required. If transportation is by non-motorized conveyance, motorized, Baba, bullock cart, etc. In that scenario, EV bill is not required. Transported to or fro custom port airport station to an inland container depot or container freight station because custom control is there EV bill is not required movement is within notified area which has basically been notified 
then baba in that scenario a bill is not required when the movement is happening in that area sir so, transportation of exempted goods a bill is not required except dol cake dol cake government have told even though exempted we want control on that and hence a bill is required whenever dol cake ka transportation is done alcoholic liquor for human consumption and hp man what is hp man everyone high speed diesel petroleum crude motor spirit aviation turbine fuel and natural gas in this scenario also a bill is not required where goods where supply of goods being transported is not a supply only schedule three item then baba ev bill is not required supply of goods by canteen stores department csd that army canteens which are there to or fro unit run canteen or authorized customer in that scenario also ev bill is not required heavy water is being transported or nuclear fuel is being transported by the department of atomic energy ev bill is not required movement of goods by defense formation under the ministry of defense army they are transporting ak47 but are not required to generate eva bill empty cargo container not required empty cylinders for refilling not required to generate eva bill sir where consignor is the central government state government local authority and transportation is happening by what rail baba central government state government is the consignor and transportation is by rail 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 eva bill is not required transportation from one custom port or station to another custom port or station eva bill not required transportation is under custom supervision or seal eva bill is not required transit cargo to or from nepal baba transit cargo going to nepal or coming from nepal because baba nepal ka case mein that person who is in nepal will he generate eva bill government told transit cargo to and to and from nepal eva bill is not required the next one over here is a small circular which is over here supposingly they went ahead and told you everyone listen to me very carefully whenever goods moved in between two state interstate movement may central gst laws apply and wherever it is intrastate within the state movement is happening state ka gst laws apply for an example everyone over here one person in one state sold the goods to another person within the same state this sale is an intrastate sale but supposingly he put the goods in a truck and the goods went from other state to over here might be because here there was too much traffic you send it from here to here remember one thing intrastate it is intrastate supply but what kind of a movement it is intrastate movement it is going from other state and then central gst laws will apply can i go ahead everyone when i go ahead and tell you supposingly this is your state this is a state may scz unit if i go ahead and sell to scz it is intrastate supply it is interstate supply but sir what kind of a movement it is within the same state movement it's an intrastate movement and state ka gst laws will apply we don't see supply we see the movement type when we are talking about e way bill and it will be considered at what kind of movement everyone intrastate movement and state ka gst laws will apply if this is the state of karnataka karnataka is gst laws will everyone over here if goods transit to another state while moving from one area to another area in the same state but you went through other state then baba because you went to other state two states are involved it's an interstate movement interstate supply can be interstate intrastate supply but you have to always see movement and central gst laws will apply dta to scz might be it's an interstate supply but the movement is always intrastate intrastate means state gst laws will Remember one thing: who shall generate any way bill? If transportation is by road, it's your own conveyance. Remember, by registered person who is doing the movement, registered person as consignor or recipient as consignee in own conveyance, hired one or public conveyance ke through. Then, Baba, because you already know the number, part A and part B, both you have to go ahead and fill. Road transportation may even be has to be generated prior to movement. If I am handing it over to a transporter, in that scenario, Baba, I'll assign the EVA bill to the transporter. Part A I will fill and I'll assign. And Baba, Part B, the transporter will update the truck car detail and he will take the goods and go. So it says, I will go ahead and update Part A, registered person to assign the EVA bill to the transporter, transporter to update vehicle details and generate the EVA bill. Sir, if I am doing transportation by rail, air, or ship. In that scenario, part A also have to update, part B also have to update. Updation has to be done with railway receipt number, airway bill number, or bill of lading number, and that eway bill can be generated after or before movement. Also, do remember one thing, everyone. If you go ahead and do some default, then with respect to your supply, with respect to your outward movement of outward supply, you also can't generate eway bill. Your buyer also can't generate transporter, e-commerce operator. or courier agency 
as you as the seller, eBay bill will not be possible to generate if you go ahead and do this. It says restriction on furnishing information in part A, blocking and unblocking. No person shall be allowed to furnish information in part A in respect of outward movement of goods of a registered person. It may in respect of outward. Can somebody sell the goods to me? Can I buy the goods for buying purposes? Can I generate? Yes, but for selling purpose, you can't generate eBay bill. When you are a composition dealer and you have not furnished CMP08 for two consecutive quarter, if you are a person other than A, means other than composition dealer, normal person who is there, has not furnished return for a consecutive period of two tax periods. So, sir, return means GSTR 3B for an example. If I have not filed my GSTR 3B, if I am under monthly return, so two months ka GSTR 3B not filed, EV bill will be blocked for my outward supply. Sir, if I am under quarterly return, two tax period means two quarter ka GSTR 3B not filed, my EV bill will be blocked for my sale purposes. Sir, being a person other than A means other than composition dealer, if you are a person, you have not furnished your GSTR 1 for two months if you are under monthly return or two quarter if you are under quarterly return, then they are telling your eBay bill will be blocked, means you will not be able to generate eBay bill. Part A may detail you can't fill. If you can't fill details in part A, you can't generate on the eBay bill. And Baba, if you are a person whose registration has been suspended under rule number 21A, 1, 2 or 2A, Baba, remember one thing, rule number 21A may, 1, 2 and 2A may, we had gone ahead and learned about that, sir, your registration will be suspended. Rule number 21A, 1 went ahead and told, if you apply, then from which date registration will be suspended. Rule number 21A, 2 told, proper officer can suspend when he starts the cancellation proceeding. The, sir, rule number 21 to a went ahead and told sir if anomalies are there in gstr1 and baba gstr3 b etc may comparison anomalies are there then portal may basically your registration will be you will be informed and your registration gets suspended portal suspends your registration baba in that scenario what happens in your scenario your eva bill portal will also get Basically, for your outward supply, you will not be able to generate eBay bill during the period of suspension. Sir, please leave me. Government went ahead and told, go apply to the commissioner. Commissioner on receipt of application in GST WV05 on sufficient cause being shown will give an order in GST WV06 and allow furnishing of information in part A of GST WV01 or he will reject after giving opportunity and being heard and say, hey, file your return, we'll go ahead and allow you to generate eBay bill. Can I go ahead, everyone? The next one over here on the right-hand side, remember one thing. If supposingly for sale, I've generated three invoice. Can I generate one consolidated eBay bill? No, 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 remember. Three invoices mean these are three separate consignment. Three separate consignment ke liye you should generate three separate eBay bill. Now, after you have generated eBay bills, this eBay bill can be clubbed in one statement, which is a consolidated eBay bill can be prepared. But for three invoices or three consignment, you should always prepare, even though transported in a single conveyance. For three invoices, three separate eBay bill, three separate eBay bill. Transporter may generate consolidated eBay bill in EWB02 by indicating the serial numbers of all the eBay bill. Are we all clear till here? eBay bill can be cancelled within 24 hours of generation, but before being verified in transit, eBay bill generated in one state is valid across India. Sir, railway will not give the delivery unless Baba Railway ka case may even generate eBay bill after movement also, but they will not give the delivery at the receiving end if you don't go ahead and show the eBay bill. eBay bill generation is optional even if consignment value is less than or equal to 50,000. If you want, you can go ahead and generate. Anyways, it is free, free, free. The next one, sir, can I go ahead and authorize my transporter, e-commerce operator or courier agency to generate eBay bill on my behalf? Yes, Baba. Transporter, e-commerce or courier agency can on receive on on receipt of authorization, may furnish details in part A of EWB01 and generate eBay bill. Sir, if consignor and consignee has not generated eBay bill and the aggregate value of goods carried in is greater than 50,000, transporter shall, with respect to interstate supply, generate an eBay bill in EWB01 on the basis of the invoice, bill of supply, or delivery chalan. Everyone over here, sir, is part B. Mandatory to be given, mandatory to be filled for generation of eBay bill? Yes. Part B is there, only then eBay bill is valid. But there is an exception. Are we clear everyone? Remember one thing, this statement is not 100% correct. Because there are some exceptions which are there, when Part B even if not filled, yes. Baba, generally eBay bill is valid only when Part B is being filled. One minute. Huh. So, when eBay bill is being generated, remember one, always one thing, when movement is done, part B has to be always 
filled. However, government went ahead and told, supposingly you are sending the goods to a goods transport agency. If you are sending to a transporter's place of business, intrastate movement and the distance is up to, distance is up to 50 kilometer, part A can be generated, part A can be filled, part B is not required. You can just assign the EV bill to the transporter. He will fill part B, take the goods and go. However, if you are doing the movement to a transporter's place of business and intrastate movement, but the distance is more than 50 kilometer, then Baba part A and part B both will be required. Now from here the goods is over here. From here the goods got unloaded. Now from here when it is going to the final destination also remember one thing everyone. From transporter's place of business, intrastate movement, distance is up to 50 km, part A is only required, part B updation will not be required, new trucker detail will not be required. But if the distance is more than 50 km, part A and part B both will be, part B ka updation also will be required, new trucker detail has to be filled. Sir, if you are sending the goods for weighing bridge, for weighment purpose, remember one thing, distance is up to 20 km, delivery chalan only will be required, e bill will not be required, but if distance is more than 50 km, delivery chalan plus e bill both will be required. Sir, what kind of a chapter it is? You call it a B graded or C graded chapter, B or C, anything you can go ahead and call it, but sir, what are the most important point? Who has to go ahead and generate e bill? Remember, when he has to go ahead and generate EV bill, how to go ahead and calculate consignment value. Sir, how do you calculate the validity of the EV bill? When is EV bill not required? This small part of the amendment that also becomes important. Right, everyone? In the next page, if you come, in the next page, rule number 138 is important. This small, small point which I have gone ahead and told, one small MCQ can come. And Baba, this last point which is there. This last point which is there when part B is not required. If you are sending it to the transporter for further transportation, if the distance is up to 50 km, intrastate movement, part A is required, part B is not required. Or transporter's place of business say when it is going to the final recipient in that scenario or the consignee, then Baba, if the distance intrastate movement, transporter's place say intrastate movement is happening and distance is up to 50 km, only part A is required, part B is not required to be updated. Right everyone, I'll close my revision on this small and sweet chapter of e -way -way. done everyone